Peace. Peace. Peace to the God. It's good, man. Let's see today's match. Let's start it off. They can, they can call it OT, original thought, but we just gonna call it Foundation. We in Vegas right here, in front of the Great Pines. Got the Great God Katie, Allah. Supreme. Supreme understanding. Got the book with this job, God. First, I'm gonna just let you take it. I ain't even gonna. It's good to see you. I'm glad you came out. How are you and the family doing? Good, God. Uh, today's mathematics being God. The way we see God is not necessarily the way that everybody sees God. You know what I mean? And that's one of the fundamental things that we got to understand is that the majority of the world got different, totally different understandings of being God. Now, different Christians got different understandings of God. Different Muslims got different understandings of God. You got different gods and earth that got different understandings of what God really means. Some people think that God is somebody that's supposed to be served by the people. Some people think that God is a servant of the people. You see, me, I lean towards the understanding that God is a servant of the people. And I lean towards the understanding that all this stuff that they said about God being, you know, this great force that it, 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 it moves the world along and all that. Yeah, that's what, that's what I see God as. And I see us as that, you know. Uh, when I look in the mirror and I, and I question my obligation and my responsibility, I don't see myself as just being obligated to myself and just on some selfish life where all I got to do is establish my own personal prosperity and, and, and make myself rich. It's about looking at the community, looking at the whole, because I understand myself as an extension of a community and of a collective, you know what I mean? We are part of a greater whole, you know what I mean? Because by ourselves, we nothing, you know what I mean? There ain't no way that you're going to live unless you're part of something greater than yourself, because if you live and you die and that's the end of your existence, well then you was nothing. You was a speck in the cosmic stream of existence, you know? But the way that we, our existence is greater than that is through our connection with everything else, right? So seeing ourselves that way, we're obligated. We're obligated to play a part in moving things along. And if you see that everything's dysfunctional, then our obligation is to make things function. So we had to make things work. And so we bring what? Good orderly direction. That's God. Good orderly direction. Or growth order and direction. You know? And and the way that we bring those things about is through the laws of mathematics. And and, and sometimes you gotta make those things simple. Because people don't always understand them when you get complicated and deep and metaphysical and you be all six miles above the earth's surface and they can't see that. And you can't see through them clouds and deception and all them different ideologies and mythologies they've been fed all their life. All they understand is, hell, you might be talking to somebody, all they know is white Jesus. You know what I mean? And they really, that's their frame of reference, white Jesus. And like, you trying to talk to them about metaphysics and chakras and all that, they not with you. They can't even get close to where you at with it, so you gotta come to something that's more on their level. So if you know the majority of your audience is talking, is, is dealing with some simple baby science, you give them that and you work with them. And that's that's what I've been striving to do for the past few years with Supreme Design Publishing, speaking to people at their level and then working them up to a greater understanding of, uh, of life. And and that's, you know, that, I mean, it's like, I ain't the only one that can do this, obviously. You know what I mean? I don't think of myself as any different from anybody else. Everybody got something they can contribute. It's just what we gotta do is we gotta get a greater sense of obligation because there's too many of us out here, even people with so-called knowledge self, even people that consider themselves conscious, who's thinking, I just need to improve myself. I need to be a raw, vegan, vegetarian, you know what I mean, monk sitting on a mountain somewhere and uh, getting my 12 chakras activated, my 14 strand DNA cracking, and I'm on top of things. Now, homie, like, you an embarrassment. You really went in the wrong direction. You went all the way left. You know, and, and, and that's not helpful to people. And really what you did was selfish. By you thinking that by you getting yourself at the apex of your own personal development, that you was being of service to other people. So, you know, in Buddhism, they got a term called the Bodhisattva. The Bodhisattva is the one who he could reach nirvana, he could reach enlightenment, right? But what's short of enlightenment, he stop himself, or she stop herself, and say, you know what, I want to stay on this planet, I want to stay in the physical realm, so that I can be of service to people and help them get to enlightenment. You know, and that's our obligation as people that have knowledge, is to make sure that other people can have, get to a point where they can live functional lives rather than dysfunctional lives. Being God, today's mathematics, you gotta first know your reason for being. You know, people don't even, even know their reason for being. We here at this particular place, this particular time for a particular reason. 
Now, having knowledge yourself, that's not no fad for people just to be the best knower, who can be the best coder, who know the most. When is there going to be actual synergy, actual unity on a consistent basis, a real like movement? Movement. What are you doing? Like, that's what it is right now. What are you doing? What are you doing to elevate self first and then open up your fellow people? It's not about this group having the most knowledge, this group, man, it's no particular knowledge. It's one truth. It's one truth. I want to really build with some that people year. out here doing real work. They're not internet gangsters. Um, won't you try utilizing the internet for different purposes to actually come together in the physical like this? And and like, oh, he's intelligent. Oh, he calls himself God. But where is his finances at? What we try to encourage people to do is discover your passion. Go back to what you like when you was a child. And if you can't think of that, then try every damn thing. Try every damn thing. Like just, 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 just go to conferences, go to workshops, go to different things, and just try everything. Go to the bookstore and just wander around until you find something that catches your interest. Because that might be your thing, and it might be the gift that you got to offer the world. My daughter's three years old, and, I, and she already knows what she gonna be when she want to grow up. Mm. She want to be a gardener, and she want to be an artist. She called that shit uh, 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 what's that? An uh, gardener. An mm. uh, artist and a gardener. Wow. And when I look at what she do. All day long, she draw and paint pictures of flowers and plants. And all day long, she talk about flowers and growing plants and growing flowers. Now, this might be the girl that grow the plant one day, that breathe the plant one day, that cure cancer. But they do in society that kill what we could be. Because back in the day, our essence did every damn thing. You know, but they take that away from us. And so, if you want to discover what it is that you want to do, you have to go outside of what this society provides you. You have to go into other, you have to look outside. You have to do other things that they ain't never told you. And that's why with these books, we try to give people different books in different categories. Like, yo, learn about health. Because you really might be a healer and you don't know. You might come from a long line of healers. Like, your ancestors might have been healers. But you just been crazy. And, some, and 10 people have told you crazy. But you're not crazy. Now, not to go on no tangent, but I want my daughter to know that. I want my daughter to know how much, how much greatness is within her. And I want my daughter to be able to explore the freedom to where she can really get in touch. If she want to go live in Africa for 10 years, go for it. You might discover the next group that cure cancer. You know what I mean? Like, I want her to have that freedom. For an adult, get their bread. There's nothing wrong with getting bread. If you told yourself that there's something wrong with you getting bread, You're supposed to be oppressing yourself. You're supposed to take a vow of poverty. What kind of monastery did you join to take a vow of poverty? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, really? It killed me because I be listening to people and they be talking about something that I just It's like, it's like you really like proud of being poor. Why we say we poor righteous teaching because there's no separation. Right. You know what I mean? So the majority of us have got some rich billionaires. They're the very few. But the majority of us is poor, mentally poor. So when we say poor righteous teacher, we don't separate ourselves from each from, from the whole. That's that's what y'all cool did. Separate. Separation between these man. Cross of Africans. Different, different things. You know what I mean? But We don't have anything because of the technology and things of that nature. And, you know, we self-sabotage ourselves. Today's peace. My name is Critique of Love. You know me, you love me. If you don't know me, <laughs> you still love me. You know me, and you know it. You know me, and today's mathematics. God, God, it's that God of the universe. What does that mean? Like the God was saying, man, people spooked out. I remember the God from Medina said one time, man, fuck the name God and devil, man. It's the highest and the lowest, man, if you're getting spooked out about it. You know what I mean? We're the highest, man. We're the supreme. We must figure it out. All above is caused by the Son of Man, so what does that mean? So we come into a circumference, man. What's the solution? That's the problem. We have a lot of people talking about the problem. That's what the devil do, man, because it causes confusion. Man, we just got to figure it out mathematically. Write it down. Write it down. Figure it out. Because the solution to all things is that we created. You know what I mean? So the devil, like the God was saying, that's just a speck of bug, man, that you created. That you put into your existence. Just, by, uh, just to show and prove that you're the God. Show and prove. 
Because then why did God make them? Really to show and prove that Allah's God always has been, always will be. Like, this was just a challenge. Like, because you had to go through something, see something. Sometimes we forget. You know what I mean? Sometimes when you overcome something, man, you feel stronger. You know what I mean? Yeah. You feel like you're working out. Man, I had a bitch 315 today. You know what I mean? That makes you feel you have to see for yourself because sometimes we forget. And that's why we made double, man. That deal with civilization, man. Once you have civilization, you have relaxation. You know what I'm saying? When you're dealing with the wilderness of North America and you're dealing with struggle and hustle, we ain't got a time to argue. What the fuck I'm arguing for? I'm trying to eat. Today but we that's a whole nother story. That's it. Peace.